What is up, guys? Look, let me let me take you off the chair real quick. Oh, welcome back to the channel. We are at home. We are settling back into what new normal is. Um, we're two weeks today. The boys are two weeks old. Went to the pediatrician. Um, they still need to gain a little bit of their birth weight back, which they said is totally normal with twins, and especially with Waylon, everything he's been through. But they're only a few ounces. Um, away um i think jackson's about four ounces and Waylon's about five so we're, we're on the right track they're eating good um right now they're napping one thing's really cool uh i never even knew this kind of stuff existed but i'm out here cooking doing this thing and look there they are and if i wanted to i could talk to them so that's kind of cool um but anyway look it's it's been a whirlwind um trying to figure out what to do this uh this week for you guys um first of all appreciate all the love and support and everything on the last few videos but it's been wild i promise at some point i'm gonna get back into a routine of uh you know the regular content but for right now i'm just here to tell you um it is hard so um Man, I don't, I don't know. This, this is tough. Um, you're either feeding, washing, changing, cleaning, something. Um, and then amongst all that, you know, you have to live too. So it's just, man, it's tough with these, with the two infants. Um, love them to death. Wouldn't change a thing about it. But I, I mean, I knew it was going to be tough. I didn't know it was going to be this dog on top. So, um, but that's part of it. You live and you learn and you figure it out um but anyway before we get started look check this guy out right here pit boss let me turn it this way look at that my friends over at pit boss have a turkey brine seasoning kit and bucket comes with a 20 pound bag of pellets all the stuff you need for a smoked turkey um and all the ways to do it some little tips and tricks on the inside this will be available november the first at Academy Sports and Outdoors, exclusively at Academy Sports and Outdoors, which is also another partner of mine. And uh, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to do a turkey video here. Uh, I just, man, it's, I haven't had time. Um, and turkey, I've smoked a lot of turkeys. It, it takes a long time. So what we're gonna cook tonight, uh, Brittany requested something like super simple. I, I figured out the deal in this. And look, our neighbors, um, the Beckhams, the Bourgeois, uh, John and Paula Godwin, um, everybody who has brought us food and all, we are so thankful because it does make your life extremely easy um, or as easy as it can be during this time. But at the same time, man, we're trying to find little ways to get back to normalcy every day. And for me, that's cooking for my wife um, and just cooking in general. I love it. I enjoy it. Uh, so it's trying to slip normalcy back into the new routine and um, she wanted something she could eat with some green beans and some mashed potatoes so I said you know what you know what we're gonna do we're going to cook some pork loins now you take a look at them here I've already marinated them yes I screwed that part up by not showing you but I will tell you this uh, this guy right here you can see he's a little more brown he was done in about 50 50 w sauce and frank's red hot um and then this guy was done more of about 30 70 w sauce and frank's red hot see he's a little more red got a little more so he'll have a little more fire to him um starting to ease some seasonings back in to our routine but um and i just soaked them for a little quick marinade nothing to it um uh, while i'm over here i need to come i don't even think I cleaned the pit boss the other day and I don't think I ever even plugged it back up. So I'll do that. I'll plug it up here in a second and uh, make sure that we are ready to roll. But y'all don't need to see me do that. Y'all know how to plug in. Y'all know how to plug in an electrical cord. But anyway, we're going to turn that guy on to 350, get him preheated nice before we put the meat on. Um, but we do have a couple of steps we're going to do prior to that here we go honey hog 
I put some all-purpose seasoning in there, just some salt, pepper, garlic uh, with the marinades, but not a whole lot. But I like to get this kind of sugary, granulated honey kind of crust on them. So we're just gonna, y'all check that out. We're just gonna put a nice little layer on it. I love this honey hog for all things pork. Uh, it's, it's a great name for what it is, but put that there. I'm gonna let that sit and get kind of tacky and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. Um, but anyway, while I was saying, the, the name of this game that I figured out so far is prep, meal prep. Like cook something that you can eat often for the next couple of days and not really get tired of, or you can use it in different vehicles which is why I chose the pork loins, uh, the pork tenderloins, one of my favorite cuts of meat, period. Um, that goes with anything with a pig, but what we're gonna do today, tonight, you see I got two of them, so me and Brittany obviously can't eat one each. We'll be lucky to eat one total tonight. I doubt we do, because uh, you don't have time to sit down and eat one total. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take those, I'll slice it up nice and thin, and I'm gonna put it inside some of these guys, King's Hawaiian Girl. Who, who doesn't love rolls, right? She's trying to pump and produce milk for our kids. So she needs carbs and protein. So carbs and protein is what I'm gonna give her. Um, but I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cook that first, slice it thin. I'll put it inside the King's Hawaiian Roll. And then I'm gonna throw them back on the smoker, cover it with a little butter, a little garlic, uh, a little piece of cheese and some barbecue sauce. And we're gonna have like pork loin sliders uh, to go with some green beans and some mashed potatoes, something super simple, uh, but very effective for the stage of life we're in. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna go get that pit boss plugged up and I'm gonna get it preheated and we may go inside and, and check on the boys so y'all can see them in person. But um, let me get that rolling and we'll see what's next. sleep when they sleep but you gotta live too so you know that that part it's whatever it's you, you just gotta make do with what you got um mama has not wanted to be on camera it's, let me tell you something right now it's tough and we'll talk about that in a minute oh goodness oh goodness he coughing but anyway we'll go check in here This is what life looks like. Laundry, folding, washing, pumping. She's doing it all. Super mom. I'm tired. Tired. So, that's what life with two of them looks like, folks. But grill ought to be heated up. So let's go back out there and get these pork loins ready. ever seen anything more beautiful for somebody who likes to cook look at it Ooh. there you go boys look at there but she'll be heated up soon we've got the pork loins ready we flipped them we covered them with some more honey hog um, and they're gonna go on for 350 till they hit about 155 to 160 internal um, and then we'll pull them off, let them rest, keep that juice in. Ooh, that's bright. And um, and then from there, we're going to, um, we'll slice it thin after they've rested, got to temperature, uh, and then we'll do the rest of it super quick. Uh, the rolls don't take long to brown in there. Um, so anyway, for now, while the boys are sleeping and before they have to eat again in, an hour and 15 minutes, which it always seems like you're an hour and 15 minutes from a feed, my goodness gracious. Um, wow. Um, but try to get this done, should be able to get it done and enjoy our dinner before they get up and eat their dinner. So anyway, I'll show you how the process as we go. Get that thing rolling. Let's get to keep moving. Life is twin parents. 
it is a blessing but it is tough there is this is team no sleep all the way through all right we've got the grill up to temp close that sear plate off just a little bit we don't need him so it is time to place our loins on there for those of you wanting to know this is the pit boss competition series 800 um, available also at academy sports and outdoors <laughs> you notice that a lot a lot of my partners work together um, and that's actually really nice but anyway uh, for those of you wanting a full remodel video, it's going to be a little while because we got to a point where we could live and we stopped. Um, so once we get the rest of it done, we'll have you an update there. Hope you guys understand and appreciate that. Um, just had to do what was right for our fam. But anyway, we're going to let those guys go to the hit. Like I said, somewhere between 155 and 160 internal. We'll probably flip them in about 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, we'll just look at them. I, I do a lot of cooking by look. Um, so we'll check them out in 10, 12, 15 minutes, something like that. Flip them over one time, let them finish getting the temp like that. I don't like moving them a lot. I want a good sear on both sides, uh, and then go from there. But, um, I'm going to go inside get to work on Brittany's green beans and mashed potatoes. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, green beans ain't nothing. I, we don't do nothing special. We take them from a can, pour about half the juice off, um, put a little a couple strips of bacon in there with them with some salt black pepper and garlic and just let them simmer in that bacon and the uh, juice and um and then mashed potatoes man so easy boil your potatoes whatever get them nice soft mash them up a little butter a little cream a little milk however you like them if you want them mashed whipped it doesn't matter uh we're, we're whippers around here so you'll see them they'll be really creamy um but all, all super simple stuff but um we'll show you the final plate once we get done we're gonna let that roll i'll keep you updated as the meat comes to us told y'all this don't take real long you can tell because he's nice and firmed up look at him put him on this here cutting board and i'll go inside and get me some tin foil oh that one even got a better sear on him look we'll put him right side up oh ooh. there's a difference between char slash sear slash burn that was a good hard sear mm. we getting ready boys we're gonna let them rest i've already sliced my buns so let them rest get them sliced up um or we can work with them and then i'll show you the final act here we go. I'm gonna make a little garlic butter. I'm gonna cheat. Look, we're again, guys, twins, right? So, having to take some shortcuts, but I'm just I put about a quarter stick of butter in there. I got me some granulated garlic. Boom. I'm going to just throw it on the grill while the meat's resting. It's a little pit boss, a little sauce caddy. Sit it right there. Close the lid. It ought to melt pretty quick. You know, my favorite thing about making sandwiches, like the ends aren't, you can't use that. So, but look how juicy this thing is. We let it rest. Oh, my dog on bone sandwich. So, I gotta eat him. Got this side done. We got Colby Jack, a little barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna put them back together. I use the barbecue sauce now so that, like, it's tacky. And it'll hold the bun on the top of the roll. So that way they don't come apart on you. And I don't know that I have these matched up or not, but probably don't. Rarely do. But now that we got that on, remember the butter we made? Here we go. The garlic butter. We're just gonna come right here and we're just gonna slather it all over all of that. Mm-hmm. Cooking like a dad, boys. Cooking like a dad. Making a mess. Doesn't really matter. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. We got we got trouble of brewing boys. Gotta make this quick. We're gonna eat before they get up. But anyway, we're gonna put those in. We're gonna rinse and repeat. I'll show you what it should look like when they get done. Alright, let's look at them. We're gonna take them in, we're gonna build us a plate, and we'll show y'all the final, final look. Well, there we go. Thank you. Here you go, my queen. I'm gonna sit right over here. Okay. Because you. you seem to have your hands full. Yeah, always. Arms, arms too. <laughs> but there we go, pulled pork sliders. It looks delicious. We swapped from, we had a little judgment call. No mashed potatoes, we went with pasta. Green beans. Take care of them. They're way more valuable than you are. Trust me.